What's up everybody? My name is Robbie and you are watching Geek Level Asian. Welcome back to the discussion around Boom Studios, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Shattered Grid, Issue 26. I got my copies right here. I always pick up the variants. So just before we move forward, I do want to mention that this is going to be spoiler heavy and if you're not keeping up with the comics, you will learn things that you might not want to know yet and you definitely are going to want to check out my review on Issue 25, which was the beginning of Shattered Grid. So diving right in, right in the first few pages, we learn a few different interesting things. Lord Draken has made it back to his reality, safe and sound. Finster is now Finster 5, and he's partly robotic. I wonder if he's supposed to represent the evil counterpart of Alpha 5. There is quite the bromance between Lord Draken and Finster 5. They seem to be very close. So close that this is the first time that we've seen Lord Draken be nice. When he arrives back in his own reality, all of the Sentry Rangers greet him and they welcome him back. But as soon as he closes the door and he's with Finster 5, he almost becomes a different person. And we also learn something else in this very moment. Draken has the ability to shrink people and that's how he took Ninjor from the other reality and brought him back to his own. I wonder if Lord Draken has ever met the Zelinskis. So moving forward, the story brings us back to the reality that we've been following for the entire series. Now again, if you haven't read issue 25, I'm about to talk about some stuff that you might want to experience on your own. You've been warned. So as we all know from issue 25, Tommy Oliver has been killed. And ladies and gentlemen, he's gone. And so now we're watching all of the Rangers grieve and feel guilty about Tommy's death, especially Kimberly. One of my favorite illustrations in this issue is Jason reluctantly accepting the Dragon Shield. Now something to know in this entire Power Rangers universe, in the show, Jason always felt guilty that he wasn't able to save Tommy's powers. So in the show, when he accepts the Dragon Shield and now has control of the Dragon Dagger, yes, it's not under the happiest of circumstances. But can you imagine what he feels like now? Now he is inheriting these powers after one of his friends died. And now this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. In the middle of grieving at Tommy's funeral, Jen wakes up. The story now cuts to everybody at the command center and Jen starts to fill us in on how time travel works. Now this part is pretty cool because in real life we all know that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers paved the way for every series that followed. So as Jen is explaining time travel to our current Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, she does say that you are the greats and you influence hundreds of future Power Rangers to come. I just liked how they threw that in there because that's the truth. But what's most interesting about this conversation is that Jen pulls up this visual that demonstrates the timeline of Power Rangers. And this is what the timeline is supposed to look like. But then, due to recent events, she shows them a new representation of the timeline and it's very different. It doesn't happen in chronological order, it's all happening at the same time on a surface. This new timeline that's represented as a flat surface has a bunch of cracks in it, and if they keep cracking, what's gonna happen? It's gonna shatter. Now you might be asking yourself, where is all of the action? Here it comes. Our storyline now cuts to some familiar faces or familiar helmets, the Power Rangers Samurai team. They're training, they're doing what they would normally do, I guess, on a regular day, and then BAM! Lord Draken shows up with all of his sentries. We are talking warriors on foot, and we are now introduced to a new weapon called a dragon tank. And the important thing to take away after the samurai team is defeated, Draken takes their morphers. This is important for later. Cut back to the command center, Billy does some Billy things and realizes how they may be able to travel across this new surface timeline and get to all of the other ranger teams so that they can contact the coinless and warn them. And as Billy is explaining what he's working on, they get an alert in the command center, they know that it's Draken, and guess where they have to go? The Sheba house, because the Power Ranger samurai team was just ambushed. They've never seen Draken before. They have no idea what's going on. So this, you have to imagine, this just happened out of nowhere for them. And fortunately, they show up in time so that they can save the red samurai ranger. She had not been captured. They attempt to use a device called a morph EMP on Draken sentries but it doesn't work, so they bounce. Now that we're at the end of the issue, all of the events that I just discussed all lead up to this one thing. Draken is using the samurai morphers to extract the samurai power out of them and use it for his own. So now he has his white ranger power, he has his green ranger power, and now he has the samurai power. And we also learn that he doesn't need everybody's morphers to do this. He really only needs one morpher from every team, but he's gonna collect all of them. Why? Because he wants to distribute that power to his sentry army. And see, this is why he captured Ninjor from issue 20 because Ninjor is able to tap into the morphing grid. So Draken is using Ninjor to combine all these powers together. 
Now, as soon as I saw this happen, my mind went to two different places. I wonder how fast I'm going to see a Draken Samurai cosplay, and there are probably going to be so many Draken toys. So what do you think? Have you been reading Shattered Grid? Have you been keeping up with the Boom Studios comics? Let me know how you feel about the story so far down in the comments, and we will discuss. And hey, everybody, if you like this comic review and you want to see more of them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on all of the social media networks. I am on pretty much all of them, and they're all at Geek Level Asian. And like most of you, I cannot wait for issue 27. Until then, may the power protect you.